What happens when you have two black holes, quantum particles, and a hell of a lot of gravity all in one place? Traversable wormholes, aka time machines. Many of you guys might have seen the demo of how a wormhole works. So, if you have two points on a piece of paper, like two planets in space, that you want to travel between really quickly, if you fold space in half, you can get the two points or planets to connect. This is the idea of how a wormhole works, and possibly time travel. But for that to exist, we need a huge warping of space-time, which is really hard for us to do. But for a black hole, easy peasy. With Einstein's theories came the idea that if there are two black holes, they could be connected through a wormhole. Also known as the Einstein-Rosen Bridge. And you bet your Benjamin Sisko that you would not be able to travel through that wormhole. The wormhole wouldn't be traversable because it would be too unstable to remain open. It would require a lot of quantum negative energy to counteract the immense gravity from the black hole. It's really complicated and we can make another video about it if you want, just let us know. Up until now, scientists thought that nothing came out of a black hole but something known as Hawking radiation has been predicted to be emitted from black holes. A theory brought by Stephen Hawking himself. Hawking radiation states that black holes are not eternal and that they're slowly going to emit more and more of their matter until they evaporate out of existence. Except if this Hawking radiation leaves one black hole, it could end up spawning another, which could cause these two black holes to become entangled. Now, I know what you're thinking. Entanglement? With black holes? What the Ferengi is going on here? Becoming entangled just means that they have a connection that they share the same quantum particles. It's like as if you have two black holes that are related to each other. And this is where the fun stuff comes in about possible time travel. Quantum mechanics says that if two black holes are quantum entangled, there may be a wormhole that connects them together. If this is true, then any particle that falls into one of the black holes could, in theory, come out of the other one. So in a way, from this Hawking radiation, it built sort of a bridge between the two black holes, aka a possible traversable wormhole. There's quite a heated debate about this new theory, because some believe that nothing escapes a black hole and it's filled with forever increasing density, while others believe black holes are totally empty. And if a black hole is totally empty, then there's no possibility for a bridge, a connection, or a time-traveling traversable wormhole. But that's just the theories right now, and more math is needed to figure it all out. So until the day we can actually observe an experiment with wormholes, we're just gonna have to slingshot around the sun or whatever. Maybe travel faster than warp 9.997. You get it. Special thanks to Domain.com for sponsoring this episode of Seeker. Domain.com is awesome, affordable, reliable, and has all the tools you need to build a new website. They can fulfill all of your website needs. They offer .com and .net domain names and intuitive website builders. They have over 300 domain extensions to fit your needs, from .club to .space to .pizza. Take that first step in creating an identity online and visit domain.com. Oh my god, you guys. Maybe you've noticed, but this is Athena. She's new. You're going to be seeing her more on the channel in the coming months, so make sure you say hello. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please entangle yourselves with us by subscribing or learn more about entanglement here in Trace's video. It's really good. Thanks. Carl Sagan used the idea of a wormhole as a form of time travel in his 1985 science fiction novel Contact, which caused a bit of a debate in the science world. Thanks for watching.